Hey everyone, Mayfree Pono Shine here, and welcome to the Pokemon Shield Evan Solo Run. Now, I'm gonna do a little bit of explaining because honestly, unless you're me, Gabe, or Demigod, this probably does not make a lot of sense to you. But pretty much, um, uh, Evan is well. Let's start off with how it, just how the entire thing started. Me, me, Gabe, and Demigod, like in private, we did a Pokemon Wonder Cage Lock, and one of the Pokemon that I had in that series was in, was a a Sylveon, and she was called Eevee, but she sadly died because because honestly I forgot type advantages and then she got killed, which was a shame. Plus she got conf she got confused and hurt herself and it, yeah it it was it was not fun, but. Afterwards, we did the shiny race, or at least we were going to, but then it got cancelled. But, uh, I shiny hunted for an Eevee, because that is one of the Pokemon I had the ability to shiny hunt. And I decided to evolve it into a Sylveon. And because it was male, and it was, like, blue and stuff, I kind of, it, it just kind of seemed natural that it was kind of, like, Eevee's brother. So we called him Evan. Now, obviously, because the shiny race never happened, because the shiny race was supposed to be, like, Evan avenging his sister and, like, trying to avenge her legacy, but obviously it never happened, so, so much for that. But I have decided that we, Evan just, Evan's just been sitting in my boxes for a while, and it just feels kind of sad. So I've decided that why not uh, just do a solo run? Let's just do a solo run with Evan. Let's see if we can beat the... We can beat Pokemon, Pokemon Shield with only Evan. I know most people do this as like a little video, like, can you beat Pokemon Shield with one Mudkip or something like that? But like, I'm not doing it like that. But I'm gonna do this instead because this is like my sort of style. So, uh, I actually don't know what what to do for trainer because the trainer is not the important character. Here. It's it's the Evan. But uh, I'm just gonna make it me. It's just gonna be make. So yeah, let's just do that. So we're not gonna spend too much time like on the trainer because obviously, who cares really? Evan is the main character here, and hopefully he can avenge his sister, maybe even bring her back somehow. It has been a while since I truly played Pokemon Shield, though. Alright. Uh. Welcome, one and all. Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us, in the sea, in the sky, even worse in our towns. I don't care, Evan's the only one that matters, we don't need this copper Raja and stuff. And those of us, well, and those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. Oh, but I'm getting carried away, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and, is, and, it, and it is a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's, Leon's Exhibition Match. We're gonna beat him. We're gonna beat Leon with just Evan. Evan's gonna kick the shit out of him. Evan's only like level 12 or maybe 15, I can't remember, but yeah. Not, not too high level, I didn't like put him at level 100, but like he'd be too difficult to train. Uh, exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end when I beat you here today. You know I don't lose battles, Raihan. Charizard, Dynamax. That still annoys me because Charizard is, just isn't Dynamaxing. He's Gigantamaxing, Leon. You're like the expert of Pokemon because you're like... Actually, Leon's kind of dumb to be fully honest. Pokemon Shield. There's the Wooloo. Obviously, we're gonna start off by not using Evan because I I don't I can't access my boxes yet. 
Okay. Oh, it's a Munchlax. Uh, you're not important, but hello. That's just going to be the running theme of this series. Any Pokemon that's not Evan is just simply not important. Or Eevee. Because Eevee is also important. Hello, hello! Oh, that your flash new phone make? Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Hop, oh, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Make. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Come with me, Make. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. Why couldn't he have waited for me? That's what I wonder. Like, I mean, he is waiting outside, so I don't know why he says I gotta run. Alright. Alright, let's fast off adjust the settings, obviously. Um, Alright, fast tech speed. Obviously, it doesn't matter, because battle style, I just have good foot to set. But automatic. Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll do manual, because I don't know. Um... Give nicknames. I mean, nah. I mean, yeah, because Evan has a nickname. Uh, vertical camera control. Oh, I don't care about any of this, honestly. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Uh, would you like to save these settings? Yeah, okay. Alright, let's go and grab my bag. You grabbed your dad's old bag. Who is your dad? You don't need to know. It's Pokemon. Evan's your dad now. You, un you did not change your hair at all. Adventure guy, I'm not going to read all this. This is just controls. Alright, let's go then. Hop is waiting for you. Better head outside. That's what I've done, game. Don't worry about it. This game is pretty beautiful, to be fair. At least the shots here. Maybe, like... We don't talk about the trees, okay? We just don't. He's waving at me. What do you want? Ha <laughs> ha have a look at you, Make. That old bag looked like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Stupid sheep. I mean, that's just an alpha right joke. I just copied his words line for line. A Wooloo, but what's it doing there? Rolling against the fence, clearly. Hey, you silly Wooloo. I see what you're up to. Don't go tack don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen, no going past that fence. No. And everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering wield. Meh. No, that's taken care of. How about it, make? Let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging about that big old bag? Well of course you can if you don't let me move because of the stupid cutscene. Let me can I Okay. Well, he's already made it. He's nowhere in sight. He definitely already made it to his house and didn't just disappear. Alright, let's go then. Hello? Anyone home? Mum, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you brought along me. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? He's still not here yet, for the hundredth time on. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. And that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost along the way. Oh, will you? Yeah, that probably is for the best. You've got to come with me. You've still not met my big bro yet, right? I just guessed what he said because I skipped the accident. You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you out on the route. Out on the route, nice. Alright, let's go then. Yo, what's up? Let's get a move on. Only remember me. Wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk to through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. 
but not you, me, so we'll stay clear of the tall grass as we go. Nice music, to be fair. I really, really do like the music in Pokemon Soul and Shield. Definitely one of my favorite gaming soundtracks. Here we go. Ah. What's everyone gathered around for? I guess everyone wants to see Charizard. Because, like, it's not. It, they're quite rare, you, you know, if it's the only Pokemon game that you'll see them in. Yeah, woo! Let's go. Hello, hello, I trust your champion, Leon, is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon, you and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills just like you've taught us to, Lee. Frame drops. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well, like Evan. That's why I want the strongest challengers to fill the gym cha challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Brah! Lee! Hop! So, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo! That's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated for so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be Mick. Am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan too. What if I just wasn't Make? What if I was a completely different person? How would this conversation go? People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee. And you, Make. I bet I can beat the both of you back home. Well, well let's go then. But Leon. Le Leon. That hop. Always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Gawa can have a champion time. That's nice, he waited for us. Why am I just standing there? M make go. Cool. I mean, I'm getting lost now. That one was just... That one was just his fault. Come on, Lee. You promised us a present, so out with it. You brought making me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Alright, let's see. Take a good look, you two. The grass type Pokemon, Grookey. The fire type Pokemon, Scorbunny. And the water type Pokemon, Sobble. Alright, so I have no idea, because obviously, depending on, like, depending on uh, what Pokemon you pick, uh, Leon's champion team changes. However, I have zero clue what would be the best one for, what would be the best one for, for Evan to take on. So I'm going to look that up during this cute little cutscene of them showing me Pokemon that I'm not going to use. Okay, let's see, um, Pokemon, Sword, alright, line up everyone. Which will you choose? I don't know, I'm looking it up now. Let's see, um... Go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wooloo off the wall. Off the wall? Off the wall. Right, so what is Fairy Strong? This is gonna take a little bit, because I'm just, like, getting used to it and seeing how... How this works. Or, like, seeing what starter I'm gonna pick. Pokemon Shield... Uh... Uh... Type advantages. Fairy.
Alright, let's see. Like I said, this is gonna be... It's definitely gonna be a little bit... It's definitely gonna be a little bit cumbersome. Fairy is super effective against fighting dark and dragon. And weak against... I knew it was weak against poison and steel. I knew that much because of the fairy gym. Let's continue to sight. Hmm. All right. Um. Let me let me find his team. So if I choose Grookey, then it's Seismitoad. Wait. If I choose Grookey, no. If I choose Grookey, then it's Seismitoad and Cinderace. If I choose Score Bunny, then it's then it's uh, Mr. Rhyme and Intellion. And if I choose Sobble, then it's then it's uh, Rhyperia and Rillaboom. So none of the main three, I don't, I think, have any sort of bearing on Fairy. So preferably Fighting Dark or Dragon. Which ones of these are Fighting Dark or Dragon, but not Poison or Steel? So Mr. Rhyme is just Ice and Psychic, which doesn't help. Uh, Sidentoes Water and Ground, which also doesn't help. And Rhyperia is ground and rock. And I'm a f since I'm super effective against. Oh, wait, no, I'm not super effective against rock. What was, what was I talking about? Uh, so all of these are neutral then. So none of it doesn't matter what I pick. I mean, I guess I can look at the moves. So Rillaboom has a dark move, which would be not very effective against. Do any of these have a poison or steel move? Is what I'm wondering. No, no for Sobble. Um, no for Score Bunny, and no for, oh wait, yeah, no for, no for Grookey, I, so pretty much all of these are neutral, I can pick whichever one I want and pretty much face no consequences. Uh, who would it fit most for, for I would say, screw it, I'm gonna pick Grookey. Why not? I'm gonna pick Skull Bunny mainly because he looks the most like like Evan for now. Yes, we've been recording for 17 minutes. Good golly. Skull Bunny is fire type. Sword of Burning. Yeah, okay, whatever. You'll sell on the... Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do it. You chose Skull Bunny. Would you like to get Skull Bunny a nickname? In fact, I would. Not Evan has been added to your party. That's a shame. Nicely done. So it'll be score money for you. Nice one. And I'll go with Grookey. You're mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. Well, that not that cute? You're getting wiped out by my... By my Sylveon. I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I chose to bring along these Pokemon for you and Make. So the two of you can battle to tr to and train and grow stronger together to try and reach me. That's a shame, Sobble. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind, too. Alright, enough of this train and nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I mean, this scene bears no... scene has no bearing on the story, but it's, it's cute. See? Op has two kebabs. I don't know when I should end this episode. Probably after my second battle with Hop. Because I, I feel like I should at least use Evan, at least once. You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right, understanding one another, maybe even built up a bit of love. Of course, I have Lee. Makes made fast friends of his school bunny too. No, I haven't. What? Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday 
you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who will be coming to challenge you. If you think Make might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't mean it doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle too. Oh, and you think you're worthy you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say, willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Yes. Believe in your partner Pokemon, and care for them too, with all your heart. Do those two things, and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the move. Do, the, do those two things, and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike? Then let's do this! I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home, too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. You know what, knowing how much he loses in this game, it does feel kind of sad that he did go and read every book and magazine, and yet he's still not winning. Let's say that. A Pokemon battle it is then. I've got two partners with me. Tackle. Oops, why not? I feel like I might end this. I feel like I actually might end this um, soon. I might end this when we get to... When we get to when we get to to the boxes, when I when I can actually put Evan in my in my party, then I'll then I'll end the episode. This could be like episode zero. Then we can do part one next time. Alright, let's tackle one more time. Goodbye, Wulu. The opposing Wulu fainted. The worst part of Pokemon is always just getting through this tutorial. Not Evan grew to level 6. Not Evan learned Ember. It's not over yet, I've added another trusty ally to my team. You have, haven't you? It's a shame that you chose that one specifically. If you if you had chosen Solbo in that. Man, this this would have been fixed. Super effective. Did you already know about type advantages? Of course I did. I spent I spent like 10 minutes looking for the perfect, perfect starter because of type advantages. Alright, that was a strong move, I'll give you that, but uh, yeah, it's type heated. It's time to go, lad. It's time to go. Alright, gained experience points. Nice. You beat my two Pokemon of your one? You and that Skull Bunny are too much. You got 400 Poke Dollars for winning. Don't worry, I'm not gonna have this Skull Bunny for much longer. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know, n I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. It made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Good effort out there, Skull Bunny. Why don't I get you all sorted? And make you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of bo make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee. So come on, you've got to let me take on the Pokemon gyms. You join the gym challenge. You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Gawa region? Not putting the cart for the Rapidash there, little brother. If that's really what you want to do. You two have a whole lot to, you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend, Make. What do you mean, especially me? I won! Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know. It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon, hunt, Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedex is end. We're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Make. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You'd probably better go tell your mum we're heading out, though. Alright, yeah, we don't get to go there yet. 
This is why it's gonna be episode zero, because otherwise it will be it will stop being really long. What was that? The gate opened and the Wooliver was there. Oh no, it's gone. Too bad there too bad there isn't any other Wulu around here. It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? But it's off limits, nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once, and she came back in a real state. That was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterwards. Make, what do you say? Um, I don't know. Right, no one wants to get in trouble, least of all me. But deep down you want to save that Pokemon too, don't you? Hope you're ready for anything, because we're going in, Make. I wish I could just leave. Stomping wheeled, okay. Oh my god, okay, I'm coming. I went the wrong way for a bit. Chill, man. Alright, let's go. Slumbering wield. That Wooloo. Where do you think it got off to? The fog is really coming on thick now. If we, if we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Alright. I know that we're, we're going to battle a few Pokemon here. I'm just going to run away from all of them. Like, it's not like I need to level up Not Evan. Alright, cool, Not Evan. Nice to know you're still alive. Alright, let's go. That's going to be a rickety... Rickety, more like how oh, everyone's made it. Everyone's made the Rickety's nuts joke. I, I can't say that, especially not in 2021. Do you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, do you think? Okay, let's go. Bro, I, you, were that, you were so far away from me. I don't want to battle you. Okay, wild squad it. Prepare to face my wrath. You're in for it now. Alright, moving forward. Um Come on, make that Wooloo might be in real trouble. Alright. I'm coming. Bro, the speed is really nice though. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think now I get why this place is off limits. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Scary. What in the. Oh no. I can beat this thing. It's only a fighting type. At least I could if I had Evan. With not Evan, I can't though. Damn you, not Evan. I'm just gonna use all my attacks on it. Move has no effect. I can't. I can't believe it. What? The move had no effect on it. It's almost like I've played this game before. Growl at it. If it was Evan, that would have worked. You would have been so intimidated, you would have ran off. Meg, I can't see anything. You okay? No. I'm not okay when I don't have Evan by my side. We might die here. You know what? I you know how I just launched that ember and it just went like through that Zamazenta. It could have easily just hit a tree and burnt down the entire forest. I can't see anything. Ooh, ah. And they all died. The end. That's not a good story, Game Freak. Aha. We live.
ชอบเมกชอบ What do you have to say? Well, Lee, how do you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions. Sorry, your ass with directions. You always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother you had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course, I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wulu? We were trying to rescue that Wulu. Nah, the little chap's just fine. But all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. Wait, but by the time, by the time he came to us, the, we were, we, we, we were standing up. You know this place is out of bounds, but it took courage to come in here all the same, and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. And at least that Wulu's all right. Yeah, Meg. I thought we'd had it, but when that weird fox started rolling in, that mad Pokemon attack. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon. What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. It just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. It just seemed to pass right through it. Your moves passed right through it? So, the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering wheel. Are they actually illusions or something? You get strong enough and the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. But now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience. This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Yeah, he really shouted at us. I feel so bad. Don't forget to tell your mum we're off the wedge hurts now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word, even worse than Lee just did. Well, that's not really that difficult, is it? Alright. Doo ba doo doo! Why are Badoos just hanging out outside our house? I didn't give permission. Fa! Well now, isn't Score Bunny just a sweetheart? I think he was trying to say the F word. I don't know if that's sweet. I don't know if that's sweetheart maneuver. And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy, buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that Score Bunny will battle to the very end for you, so don't you go pushing the poor deer too hard. I'm gonna push him into the box, that, but that's about it. Fa! And you, Score Bunny, don't swear in front of me and look after my little mate. Come home to rest any time you need. After all, east or west, home is best. I will say that she is... If I was a parent and my kid was like, can I go across the country to... Fulfill my destiny and become a Pokemon champion. But like, no. I mean, nah, because I've played Pokemon, so I actually think it's cool. But if I was a parent and this was like a new thing, then I'd be like, no, this. You're just gonna get yourself killed by some big dragon. Here we go. This is the this is quite the big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Grookey a bit by having a battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You just get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball. Mark out and mark out and on. Ugh. Mark out on front. What does that even mean? Also, you could just say Pokeball. We, we, we are in the world of Pokemon and you know what a Pokeball is. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Alright, let's go then. Uh, I'm gonna try not to. In case you aren't aware, I was about to say I'm going to try not to run into anyone. I'm not going to battle any of them. They can just chill here. Would be funny if I found a shiny though. I, I, I ran into that one on purpose just because I wanted to see if it was a shiny. It, it wasn't. If it's a shiny, then maybe I'll have to rethink the solo run part. Let's see, I like shiny Wooloo. Is this going to be a shiny Wooloo? Nah, I, my luck isn't here yet. My luck... I'm not too lucky right now. If I don't know what I'll do if I find a shiny along the way. I guess I'll probably just be like... Ah, cool shiny. I think I'll probably stick it on my team, because why not? 
I'm, I'm probably just gonna barely use it. Hello. Well done! You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did with my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you. And I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now, in we go. Rawr! I, Charizard has to be the most well-developed character in this game. Gotta give it to Princess Magnolia, this place is something. What well, bow walk? Keep accidentally skipping text. That's cute. I, I would want to do like... I wish Yampa's shiny was actually cool, because his shiny is just kind of lame. What is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never-before-seen super strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. Yeah, Sonya's got sass. They definitely used to be a thing. Good to see you too, Yampa. Yampa here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his train of Sonya. What can I say about Sonya? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. Tsk! What kind of an introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yampa helping you out, I did too. This song is very good to be fair. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonya. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Make. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, would you? Away he goes. But Leon, this is the part where Leon just gets lost and he gets lost for the entire game and we never see him again, probably. Uh, what does he think I am? A human, probably. He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rodom phone. Hey there, Rodom. Rodom phones are handy little things, aren't they? We've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry, Tommy, do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet. I know everything about Evan. Well said, in that case, I'll make it so you can use the Pokedex on your Rodom phone. You obtained the Pokedex. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Could you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house along along Route 2. You know, I don't trust the fact that Yampa just came back, because Leon isn't here, and I don't trust Leon being anywhere by himself. Hey there, trainer, sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you've got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. Nah, I don't trust it. It's laced with poison. No, no, it's, la it's laced with poison. I, I don't trust you in the slightest. No, just power. No, 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 no. I know. Trust me, I know. A stranger comes up and gives you a potion. Why would I drink it? Yo, what's up? This is like the final piece of dialogue we're going to have before we end the episode. Go your Pokedex from Sonya. And it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. Battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a pretty bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon centers. Luckier yet, yeah, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, mate. Bet you've never been inside one. Do you know who I am? Hop, do, are you not subscribed to the Make 3.0 Shine channel? If you're not, then please do subscribe. Level with me, mate. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Of course not, Hop. What do you take me for? A new... You don't even use that word in 2021. Man, I don't think you need to tell me what you already know. If you do kids a Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Yeah, especially since the one I just got was laced with poison. Cheers! I'm already good though. I'm heading to Route 2, mate. Come find me, maybe, when you're done here. Okay, well, um... Hello and welcome to the... No, I don't want to talk to you. Alright, you know what? I think we're done for this episode. Uh, between episodes, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to 
put Evan on my team and put and put not Evan in the box. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, may, please do make sure to smash the like button and obviously subscribe. Hop, I'm looking at you. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully an episode where we actually go and do stuff instead of just doing the tutorial. Bye!